For Tom, staying at his aunt's house was a daunting prospect. You to mind Aunt Gwen and Uncle Alan do everything they say. It's not much for you to do at our flat, I'm afraid. No children your age, no garden to play in. But he's about to discover something special. No, don't touch that, Tom. It belongs to the landlady upstairs. Eleven, twelve, for once is correct. Thirteen. A secret world only he can find. A world that opens a door to the past. They lied to me. And a past that holds its own secrets. Hey! A magical place where he can go and begin a friendship that will last forever. Who are you? I'm Tom. I know your name. It's Hattie. Princess Hattie, if you please. I spend hours and hours in the garden. But when I get back, it's only a few minutes later. I'm not a ghost. Don't be silly, Tom. You forget. I saw you walk right through the orchard door. Every night there are footsteps. Oh. Every night at midnight when the clock strikes. Now you can discover the mystery, the magic and the enchantment of Tom's Midnight Garden. Shall we climb the tower, Tom? Yes. Don't you see me? Don't you hear me? Please don't walk through me. Anthony Way. James Wilby. Greta Skarki. For one boy, a dream came true. God will always be there, waiting for you. In Tom's Midnight Garden. <laughs>